Hometown Showcase. As promised earlier in the program, we've taken you on another field trip. That's right, we're on location with an artist whose work is inundated with art. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Devin Hansen. Hello. Hi, thank you for having us. Oh, it's uh, my pleasure to have you with us tonight. Thank you. So, tell us a little bit about your work. It's all around us. Well, gosh, that's a big question. <laughs> Isn't it a big you question? Know? Let me think about that. Uh, well, this is what I call my heart people, mm -hmm. and it stems from a creation that um, came from my heart. I drew a Valentine card for my daughter when she was about 17 years old, and I drew a little heart character, and it just sort of laid around in my basement for two years. Mm -hmm. and, um, I was telling my friend, who's a, an international artist in Texas, and she's her art's all over, Gay Taylor, who's sitting here next to me. Right. And uh, she said, bring those little heart people down. And I wouldn't do it, and I wouldn't do it. And finally, I, I took them, and she started me doing cars. Mm -hmm. And she put them in her gallery, and they started to sell. Mm -hmm. And I, so I still just doodled with them at home. And I was going to Hollywood to work on a story of, of a movie of my life story. I took a friend that owned a cafe up here, and she saw them and put them out. And a year and a half later, over 400 of them sold. And I that's an accomplishment. The gallery <laughs> called Devin's Place, where we are today. Yeah. Well, let's take a look around the gallery. All right. Shall we? <laughs> this comes with a story because uh, I went through a very bad experience when I was married in the past, and. Um, lost my children in a, a politically abusive situation and um, they were in a very bad environment for over 10 years and in order to get them out I had to become somebody I don't come from a, a, a supportive family and I became a national speaker was a speaker that worked with the Oklahoma bomb survivors and I became somebody that looked good on paper and right. had a good reputation I'd come from uh, a homeless life and when I finally did get my kids back after 10 years of struggle and investigative work, I got them back at ages uh, 10 and 11. And when my daughters were 17, I did this little, you can see, Be Mine, Valentine card. Mm -hmm. and, I just, and I don't know anything about art and didn't even know about Van Gogh, but felt uh, an inspiration just being in the room that he lived and painted and died in and visiting his grave. Mm -hmm. and, and I started doing a lot of little churches, and that's what those are. That's why some of those don't even have the heart people in. Most everything I do has this little heart person in it. Mm -hmm. uh, this one I did with a gay mentor who's a, a master world famous painter, Lee Con. You can tell him about Lee Con. He, yes, he painted the murals in um, a Vita Perón school, and I. She took me down there hoping he would start me on acrylics, but he got so excited about my Crayola Magic markers that he started using markers. And I did this with Gay and Gus in his um, home in Austin, Texas. So I, that piece is real special to me, my little jungle. There is a little heart person right there <laughs> <laughs> flying around. Well, show us some of your other favorite pieces. Favorite pieces. Favorite pieces. Yeah, what are my favorite? A lot of them are. I like this one right here. I'll tell you why I like this one because I did like a little stretch and put some little blue around the black, you know, and it just had a different effect. And I love my little um, black fairies. They are my most favorite one of all that I do. And my zebra series are very. Uh, special to me. Shall we? They're, they get the entryway. Okay. Like right here, this poster was uh, out of a hundred artists. I was drew into a woman's expo in Columbus, sponsored by Fortune 500 mm -hmm. companies, 
you got to keep in mind I've only been doing art a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And out of 100 art, and luckily I had a poster of it, and then I made it into a Girl Scout official seal of Ohio patch. So I was really honored with that. Mm -hmm. Just recently, the Dayton Daily News invited me in to be the featured artist with Mike Peters. Who's oh, okay. Celebrity. Right. I said, that's okay. You can put me next to Mike Peters. And we were the only artist mentioned for the fundraiser for Culture Works. So, um, and the piece that I put in sold. Mm -hmm. So, that's the great. doll, as you can see, the doll looks exactly like um, we have the, uh, my art, and we're getting ready to do uh, Heart People Productions, and I'm incorporating, and I'm bringing in a, a partner, and we're um, getting prepared to audition for QVC. Okay. And, um, got a lot of things a on lot the horizon. Yeah, yeah, a lot of things. And so that we have bags and we have the t-shirts and um, this was something I did for K-12 gallery with the children and we made life-size heart people. Mm -hmm. And each kid made their own heart person and they are so cute. I got a picture. Well, you saw that. And each child looked like their own feeling of a heart person but each one of them had little knobby knees mm -hmm. and little hearts on their heads and then one had a big wrestler you know but he had like a heart on his head and little knobby <laughs> knees. Well, that's got to so, be fulfilling. That is because you know in one month I was out only one month in Dayton and um, K-12 Gallery came in and saw my work mm -hmm. and asked me to come in to um, teach the children and this year actually put in a grant and she called me a local famous artist to get money for me to come in and teach the children. Mm -hmm. And so I was very honored with that and had a, had a real good time. I also designed in, in the first month I was out in a cafe. In, in one month I sold 70 paintings. Uh, this mm. is before I even had them really in mats or anything. Uh -huh. And Rotor Shoe Store came right. in and um, he's remodeling his children's department using my art and I designed his uh, graphics art, which I can't even believe because I don't do graphics <laughs> art, but he's happy with it. And for Little Heart People uh, cards to be sent to the children to tell them that it's time to come in and get their shoes done. So that no, there was one thing that I did forget to tell you about my art that makes it even more fun than just looking at it, and that that all of my art is in 3D. So uh -oh. check it out, girl. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> Let's see. Right Psychedelic, telling you. Psychedelic. Yeah. Everything is in 3D. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're bouncing off at me. <laughs> but that is fun. Yeah. That is very fun. Everyone, stay tuned. We'll be coming back with Gay Taylor, Devin's mentor. We'll talk a little bit with her, and we'll also see some of her work. So please stay tuned.